What are we doing, baby? Still doing it, huh? We're making a fire. We're heating the house, Gabby. Yeah, Holden's making a fire. We got Disney Plus on. Mm. We're watching the dream, some. Living our best lives. Yeah, Happy out Christmas here. movies. 218. You know what it is. Okay. Can we... <laughs> We just finished the movie yeah. Noel, yeah. and now it was awesome. we're not yeah. gonna watch the Santa Claus, right? We're gonna watch. Oh, we're gonna watch big people stuff. It's not even yeah, Christmas. We're we were just wetting our palate. Yeah, we're just preparing ourselves for all the crap. We're gonna Christmas go movies. crazy. We're gonna yeah, we watched Once so we many. We get to Virginia. So right now we're at Holden's mom's house in Minnesota. For your truck. Which is why they have this super cool fireplace. My family could never. <laughs> Do you think anyone in your house could build a fire? My dad might be able to. He grew up in the country. Yeah. So he was a I'm Marine. sure he learned. He was a Marine. <laughs> he was a Marine, your so he knows could, how to build a fire. Your mom could probably build a fire. Mom, how are you going to get a circulator thing? The fire looks really good. Oh, I should show them outside. Show them DJ plowing. Look at how crazy Holden's stepdad is plowing away the snow. Look how pretty. Hey guys, it's Gabby and Holden. It is Thanksgiving Day and Holden's birthday. Say, start over. Sorry, I said it in the wrong order. Today is November 28th. It is Holden's birthday and it just so happens to be Thanksgiving, but more importantly, it's his birthday. And we're traveling back to Virginia now from Minnesota, yeah. driving half cross country. I already drove, drove a cross country. Yeah, he drove the first half with his mom and then I flew out to Minnesota for Thanksgiving and just to visit family one last time before the baby comes. And so now we're driving his car the rest of the way back home. And it is two in the afternoon, but it's dark because it's all rainy. Well, it's like- Snowy. It's, yeah, it's snowy and foggy and just gross because there's about to be a storm coming in. We were supposed to leave we're tomorrow. We're in Wisconsin, it's on repping the- Yeah, we're in Wisconsin Rainbow. right now. He's repping- Game -game. He's repping the Packers to make sure we don't get in trouble. So far, we're only like an hour and a half into our drive. Uh, like two hours. Yeah. We stopped and saw my grandma. Yeah, we're like two hours into our drive. And we probably still have like six more to go. Right? Today? Yeah. Like four? Four more to go? Yeah, we're not doing a big drive today just because it's the holidays and we just don't really feel... We're trying to beat the storm. We're not trying to get a lot yeah, of distance. Yeah, we're just saying distance. Because we should be home. Well, at this rate, if nothing happens and the roads are fine, we'll get home Saturday night. Yeah. Which means we'll have all day Sunday. Worst case scenario, we just wanted to have an extra day. Yeah. For it, because we can't be home later than Sunday. No, I have school on Monday, so I have to be back because I can't miss that class because it's one of my last classes before the finals and stuff. So we're doing like projects and whatever, but. We're just trying to get home by Saturday or Sunday so we can have at least a few hours to relax. We'll keep you guys updated once we're probably at the hotel or something. Bye guys! Night number one on our road trip back to Virginia. This is our hotel for the night. This is our little room. It's pretty nice! Yeah. Got a nice fat sink. We're so tired. It's only 8 o'clock. And we feel like it's like 2 a.m. because we're old people but we're gonna get ready for bed we're gonna wake up probably around like six or seven go get our free continental breakfast and then head on out again i just said the baby name okay. just say good night to them good night baby boy yeah okay no to them not to baby all right well, it's 2.30, as you guys can see, and they just put an IV in, they confirmed that I am contracting, but they're gonna probably inject steroids so that I will stop, because I'm only 32 weeks and 5 days, so they said that their goal is to make me stop contracting. Because if I give birth, then baby boy will have to stay here for four weeks. She said about four weeks or something. And we really don't want that. We're in the middle of Illinois. We don't know anything about this place. We don't have family here or anything, so it just would not be ideal. I'm trying to get Holden to sleep since 
I keep contracting and shaking and I just want him to get some rest. Set up, then we can grab him and bring him into the OR with us, okay? As far as I know, that's the plan, okay? This is your first baby, so this kid's not gonna shoot out, but um, is a smaller kid, okay? I'm gonna be back there with you and then one of the other nurses and then the whole NICU team is gonna be back there, okay? All right. Do you have any questions? I know that we're coming at you fast. No, I don't think so. Do you have questions, baby? Mm -hmm. We can go through logistics and details a little later, too. Thank you. You're in good hands. There you go, and just kind of bring it down around your chin. There we go. Nope, 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 nope. Not yet. All right, just follow me. Okay, and we're going to just go to the left here. Okay. And let me grab that stool for you so you can sit next to me. Okay. Hey, Will. Mm -hmm. How are you doing? Mm -hmm. You okay? Mm -hmm. We are going to see you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 I called my parents. Jenny's thinking about coming out. I figured it actually might be nice to have someone come down though. I think your mom's gonna fly out too. Congratulations. Oh Sir Harry. Look at this cutie. Here, look at him. You want, do you want to trim his cord? Yeah. 
Sure. Okay. We have a full range of six to Yes, I do. We're going to have you cut right between these two yellow clamps here. Okay. Okay. You won't feel it, but it's kind of chewy. It might bleed a little bit, but don't worry. I'm higher flow. I mean, lower flow, not flow rate. I just seem so high. I'm just too light for this kid. It's always just to keep the Good job. Congratulations. Thank you. So we're having to, he's breathing on his own and he's actually crying, but he's not, he's too little to open up all the air sacs. So we're just kind of giving him some oxygen. Just okay. helping him with that, eight, okay? Yes, ma'am. He's got some bruising because he had a hard time getting him out because okay. he was breached and he was kind of way down there. So that's why he's kind of all bruised up. Okay. Um, and we're going to take him to the to the NICU here in a few minutes. And you can come with us if you okay. want, okay? Yeah. With him being breached, they had a hard time getting him out because his feet were in the vagina. Yeah. So they had to get in there and get him out. So he's got a little bit of bruising. How much? Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and that's course. fine. And then as soon as, you know, the newborn, mom's okay with you not being with her, you can come. Okay. But we'll just get him settled. Okay. I'm Amanda, the nurse practitioner. Nice You'll meet, meet me you. without the okay. <laughs> nurses. Okay. Gina, <laughs> Teresa, DC, our respiratory therapist. So we got a big team here yeah. taking care of the sweet pea. What? Is he your first? Yes, he's oh our first. Oh my gosh. So you couldn't wait to come, my sweet heat, my sweet yeah. And you guys were just traveling home, right? Yeah. From the, oh, you were? Yeah, Yeah, they we're, live in what, Virginia? I just, yeah, I just got out of the Navy, so I was on our way back to Virginia. Oh, we stopped in Minnesota to say hi to family. Okay, well, it's all right. Yes, all right. Welcome to Parenthood. Did you get a picture dance for mom? Yes. Okay. Hey, baby. Jeannie, wait two seconds. I your boy. Okay. Okay. Hey. 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 Can you believe it? He, they said he's doing good. He just he can breathe on his own. He's just not breathing. He can open up all of his airways so they have more oxygen. But he's moving. He's just such a small little guy. Yeah, they switched his oxygen from a mask to a nose thing, and he hated it. Okay. So he's absolutely perfect. He's got everything he needs. He's just a little early. Can you see him? Sort of? Okay. We can't get him super close, Sally. Yep, I'm coming. I'm, I'm stuck. So. Say hi, Mom. Hi, buddy. I don't think I can get him so that we can kill him. Yeah. Babe, do you have your uh, phone? I'll just take a yeah. picture of him. Yeah, she's approaching. Hi, Mom. You did good, Mama. See, look at yeah. okay. You handled this pain well. Just getting a good family nice. picture. First yep. one. Yep. Congratulations. Thank you so much. He's doing all the breathing on his own, though, which is real nice. Goodbye, buddy. Thanks, he's strong. Especially boys, because they don't, they don't, they're a little slow. Sorry. No, I did. You're doing really good, baby. It is November 29th, Friday, and um, it is now almost noon, about five minutes to noon. So it's been about six hours, a little bit more than six hours since I gave birth to our little baby boy. He's in the NICU right now, and they're watching over him. I wish he was here. My birth plan didn't go at all how I thought it would, but that's okay. I can't plan everything to a T as much as I would like to. I didn't plan to give birth in Illinois, or at 32 weeks, or I guess have a C-section and have to get an epidural. And I tried to go as natural for as long as possible. I went to 10 centimeters dilation, completely natural. 
And then they told me I have to get an epidural because he's breached and I can't deliver vaginally. So I had to get the epidural and then do a C-section, unfortunately. So I didn't get to feel him the way I wanted to feel him come into this world. But it's okay. I'm just happy he's here and healthy. He's really small. He's only 5, no, 4.3 pounds. He's very tiny, so they're working on him in the NICU, and they're expecting him to have to stay here for about four weeks. But we don't live here. We don't have any family here. We don't have anything here, so it's kind of stressing us out. And um, we have family coming to visit. My mom already bought a flight out of Dulles. She should be here in, like, two hours since... There's a bunch of direct flights and stuff, and Holden's parents are already driving over. And, um, yeah, I'm waiting for Holden. He went to the, he went to Target to go get me Jello and saltine crackers, but we forgot that it's Black Friday, so we're literally so dumb. But he's on his way back, and, um, yeah, I am six hours postpartum now my stomach is a little sore because the s stitches and the staples or whatever they used I don't even know what they use honestly and um, I have my little diaper on so that's fun even though I didn't give birth vaginally I'm still bleeding and I have to wear this diaper for probably like weeks um, I just had my first meal in like not 12 hours actually yeah it's been like 15 16 hours actually i haven't eaten in a really long time and i just had um some soup and i tried to eat the grits but there was no salt or butter in the grits so it was nasty i'm gonna go because my arms are tired and i want to take a nap because I haven't really been able to sleep at all. I just, I sleep for like 10 minutes and then wake up and I keep going in and out. I haven't actually had a full, I guess, hour or two even of rest. But I'll keep you guys updated with what happens. And I'm sorry <laughs> that my thoughts may be a little bit incoherent. But I'm a mom now. I'll talk to you guys or see you guys in the next clip next vlog i don't know where i'm gonna end this probably not here but see you later i feel drunk <laughs>